In 1984, paleontologist Dr. Peter Murray encounters an extraordinary painting in Arnhem Land in remote northern Australia. It was an incredibly ancient painting, older than I'd seen anywhere else in Arnhem Land. When I began to realize what this painting was depicting, I was, of course, uh, stunned, really. He sees an unidentified animal from the Aboriginal Dreamtime stories with a small trunk, short, robust limbs, and a well-developed tail. To Murray, it bears a startling resemblance to Palarchestes, an extinct megabeast. Using the literature that was available to us and the specimens that were currently in museums, most of which were very fragmentary, it was one fervent hope that we might eventually find a very complete specimen to help us refine our reconstructions of it to compare with this painting. It takes years of searching to find the right specimen. I actually was not the one who discovered it, however. It was one of my colleagues, and we were very surprised and delighted to see that everything was intact. The skull verifies that the creature depicted in the rock art was indeed real. It's a major discovery for the team. The painting confirms that humans and megabeasts shared a time and a place in the Australian outback. The arrival of humans to North America and to Madagascar also coincides with a mass extinction of animals. It's a coincidence that has led to the Blitzkrieg theory, a lightning war so swift it annihilated the megabeasts. It's based on the assumption that humans will always exploit a food source. The theory claims that the Aborigines hunted the megabeasts to extinction through efficient and systematic persecution. When humans arrived in Australia, it essentially increased almost by 50% the number of big predators on the landscape. So just by virtue of their presence and their need to eat and sustain their own populations, it would have impacted on the megafauna. <laughs> 